While scientists aren't quite sure how the moon got here, most theories they have are pretty vanilla in terms of what we know about the formation of celestial bodies. However, theorists who have always been fascinated with the moon think that such explanations are just far too boring. As far as they're concerned, something absolutely crazy is going on with that big hunk of rock floating around our planet, and it's up to them to discover and announce the real truth. Number 10. The theory that the moon is just a hologram being projected into the sky. Most people understand we landed on the moon, and of course, others, they're not quite so sure. However, there are those who are convinced that the moon was never real in the first place, so the entire argument about landing on it is kind of pointless. They're convinced that the moon changes size and moves around too much throughout the night and from day to day, and that it has unconvincing ripples that show it's actually a hologram. Of course, most of us know how the optical illusion in regards to objects like the sun and moon works, but this has not stopped many people from thinking this all the same. As for who is projecting the hologram, the theory seems to be that aliens are doing it, although why seems to be another matter entirely. We can only speculate here, but perhaps the aliens are simply bored and they're having a bit of a laugh at our expense. After all, there doesn't really seem to be any point in projecting a fake moon. Number 9. The moon is an asteroid that was pulled into the Earth's orbit it and mind hollow. You may have heard that when NASA tested the moon for seismic activity, they found some. In fact, the moonquakes, as they were dubbed, seemed to shake the entire moon like a bell. Now, some suggest this is because of the physical makeup of the moon, its relatively small size and other factors, but some theorists are convinced that NASA has let the real truth slip out. The fact that it rings like a bell when the moon quakes happen, the theorists suggest, must therefore mean that the moon is hollow. They believe this only makes sense if the moon was once an asteroid that was dragged by space aliens or ancient super-advanced humans so that they could mine it for valuable substances like helium-3. Of course, this theory would require incredible feats of technology that would basically be magic to our current understanding of the universe. Number 8. The Moon is a fully functioning artificial satellite with its own sun-like light source. Some people cannot accept that the sun is powerful enough to reflect light off the moon with so much intensity and are convinced that scientists and the government are all lying to us. This is something that many flat earthers believe, although they aren't the only ones. Some claim that the moon cannot be natural because its light is not natural, which I, that makes no sense whatsoever. These theorists are convinced that the moon must have some kind of incredibly powerful artificial light source that it creates all on its own. Of course, for this theory to work, the moon would have to be some kind of artificial satellite constructed long ago by some sort of ancient aliens. If it was an artificial satellite, well, it seems to be still working, and this brings up the question as to whether aliens are still supposed to be operating the moon or whether it's just working on a cycle it was left on some time ago. Number 7. The Far Side of the Moon and the Strange Space Noise That Alarmed Theorists some conspiracy theorists like to point to a declassified recording from 2008 about the Apollo 10 astronauts. They had been on the far side of the moon for a while and commented on an eerie sound that they heard over the radio while out of contact with mission control. The sound was described by the astronauts as outer space type music and set conspiracy theorists' hair everywhere totally ablaze. However, while some suggest this was aliens trying to communicate with the astronauts, NASA and the astronauts themselves don't think it was anything special. NASA and the astronauts from the mission described it as radio interference, and they said they did not give it any thought beyond the incident itself. They simply didn't think it was notable, despite rumors that they at first didn't tell their superiors for fear of being thought crazy. Of course, conspiracy theorists who remain convinced will say that the government just told the astronauts to go with the official story of radio interference, and that the real truth is still out there. Number 6. Stanley Kubrick faked the moon landing and hid the evidence in The Shining. This one is slightly more well known, but we can't do a video on this topic without mentioning it because it's just so completely insane. The theory posits that Stanley Kubrick, the genius filmmaker of old, was so great at what he did that the government decided they needed him for their greatest project and his greatest project ever, faking the moon landing on a closed set. This makes very little sense, even if the government wanted to do such a thing, because using a famous director would be a really bad way to keep things classified and under wraps. He was also a director we now know incorporated government secrets into his film Dr. Strangelove, so he wouldn't have been a great choice 
for such a job. The theory also claims that Kubrick was resentful about the government forcing him to do such a terrible thing, to the point where he had clues of the deception in the movie The Shining. This sounds eerily insane, as The Shining has nothing to do with the moon whatsoever. But there's quite a comprehensive theory based around this, and the belief is so prevalent that Snopes has even had to debunk it, telling people that no, Kubrick never publicly admitted to such an act. Number 5. The moon landing was real, but the footage was faked. Most people think it's obvious that we landed on the moon and that it's absurd to question otherwise. But after all, we have pretty well proven our rocket technology at this point, and many different countries have now made it into space and launched satellites and lunar probes. However, some of these people also feel that there are real inconsistencies in the original video and photos that were shown of the moon landing and think that something is very, very off. Like we said, these people believe that if we truly hadn't landed on the moon, the Soviets would have been all over it for propaganda purposes. So they admit we probably did land, they just take issue with the footage itself. The theorists are convinced that for one reason or another, the government either couldn't get the proper footage on the moon itself, perhaps they couldn't get the equipment to work properly or it was too poor quality to show, or they were trying to cover up what the astronauts really saw. Either way, the theorists claim that while we did land, the footage and photos we've all seen were indeed created on a closed set somewhere by the government. The idea being that the government would have something to show people that would still hide any potentially classified information. To this theory's credit, NASA allegedly had much better quality footage than what aired on TV, but they taped over it. Whoops a daisy. Number 4. No one has ever made it to the moon because of the Van Allen radiation belt. Even most who say we never landed back in 1969 generally admit that we have made real lunar landings since. Part of the reason for this admission is that other nations have done so as well, so it would have to be a really massive worldwide conspiracy to cover up the fact that there have been no moon landings at all. However, despite the fact this conspiracy doesn't appear to make much sense, there are plenty of people who are convinced about it all the same. Some people believe that the radiation belt outside of the Earth is simply too strong and that we don't have anything to adequately shield our astronauts and certainly didn't have it back in the days of Apollo. For this reason, some theorists strongly believe that not only has no one ever landed on the moon, but that no biological being has gone past Earth's orbit at all. Some take this a step further, suggesting that radiation is so strong that even unmanned craft have actually gone past the Earth's atmosphere, and that everything NASA, the government, your parents, and your teachers have been telling you all these years is just one big fat lie. Number 3. The far side of the moon is the site of a space wreckage from an ancient war. Some people have read multiple theories passed around the internet where various astronauts claim to have seen space wreckage while orbiting the far side of the moon. Naturally, this has caused people's imaginations to run wild. Theorists talk of an ancient alien space war that occurred between powerful races that are either long extinct or have long left this part of the universe to go off to a galaxy somewhere far, far away. Many of these theories also suggest that there are the remains of alien bases around the moon and that the entire region must once have been the site of an incredible conflict. Now, there's unfortunately and obviously no evidence to support these claims. If NASA has any photographic or video evidence of space wreckage or secret moon bases on the far side of the moon, they certainly are not sharing it with the public. And if, as some theorists claim, there are still living aliens in these bases who have made contact with us, we have even less evidence of these encounters occurring. While it does stir the imagination, and like many conspiracy theories cannot be disproven, there's also little if any reason to believe it. Of course, there is a ship graveyard on the far side of the moon, but it's a modern one, created by NASA, where old probes are often deliberately crashed. Number 2. Many perfectly rational people insist that the full moon makes people crazy, you're crazier. Nurses and doctors are typically some of the most educated and rational people on the planet. However, when the full moon comes out, they sometimes turn into where conspiracy believers and attack those around them by saying the most ridiculous things, which would normally sound absurd coming out of the mouths of medical professionals. Oh, and they'll also do this with an entirely straight face. Nurses who work in emergency rooms will swear up and down that there are more crazy calls and crazy people in general on nights with a full moon, despite strong evidence to the contrary for many years. If anything, the only crazy thing going on here is folklore being so ingrained in people that some of the most rational people cannot give up a ridiculous belief that makes no sense at all. And yet many nurses and other emergency personnel remain unconvinced and continue to believe in this conspiracy theory. Unfortunately, while nurses should know full well how confirmation bias works, they fall prey to it on this issue on a regular basis in order to continue believing the magical tale of the moon's mysterious power. Number 1. No 
Nobody ever really thought the moon was made of cheese, except young children. The popular cartoon Wallace and Gromit made an entire claymation stop-motion film about a man and his dog going to the moon because it was made of cheese and they needed more of it to go with their crackers. This goes back to an extremely old joke that turned into an old hoax that many people still believe. Long ago in the 1500s, some writers used the moon being made of green cheese as an expression for something so ridiculous that only a really gullible person would believe it. The green part simply was a way at the time to say that the cheese was fresh. While some people point to a survey where Americans were asked what the moon was made of and a strong contender was cheese, this survey being cited may as well be considered a joke. It was taken back in 1902 and they were questioning children about the moon. Children, of course being children, said things like cheese, dirty rags, and other silly things. They had no real idea and were just naming stuff. Some of them, not knowing what a lump of space rock might be made of, likely just guessed cheese because they had heard it as part of the old expression. In the end, the only truly gullible people here are the adults who believed that anyone aside from a small child could have ever thought that the moon was actually made of cheese. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below and don't forget to subscribe. We've got brand new videos just like this every day of the week. If you're looking for something else to watch right now, why not check out my other channel called Biographics? You'll find a link to that on the screen. And as always, thank you for watching.